December 28th, 2020. We're getting some snow or some sleet right now. It's 1.40 in the morning. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys these mats that I have before we go out for the drive. These things will be dry the whole time. So you'll see the snow surrounding them, but it'll be dry. Let's go for a drive, you guys. Oh yeah. Super excited. It's about time. We're gonna get out of here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It's about time, you guys. So, we're gonna take the drive kind of on the back roads next to the mountain range so we get more snow. Don't tell me I didn't grab my keys. Come on. But I had to have. I had to have grabbed my keys. Because. How did I lock my front door? Oh, here we go. Got it. Okay, we're out of here. Yeah. Just started, literally. I have another video uploading. I did a tour around town, and the craziest thing at 35 minutes, I saw like the craziest fireball from the sky. It looked like that one in Russia years ago that a bunch of cameras caught, and it created a huge crater and blew out a bunch of windows because of the uh, of the, of the uh, sound waves shock waves from the meteor breaking the sound barrier and that's what I I saw something it was on fire it was a fireball just flying through and across the whole sky and we were in Baldwin at that part of the video so I made oh look it's a donkey or no oh no it's a coyote who had it looked like oh dude I don't want to think that that was a cat I'll be devastated but uh, yeah so sorry um what was I to say before I saw that? Yeah, so we were in Baldwin when I saw that. It was about 35 minutes and five seconds or something. And I turned off my lights because it was just going across the sky so slow because it was so big. And it was on fire though. And it, it ended up burning out completely almost by the time it hit the ground, but it was pretty incredible. Holy moly. You guys should check it out. So anyway, yeah, the road's turning white. This is awesome. trails even though it's not deep so it's not deep my friend it's not very deep the other video I'm publishing right now or putting together right now we're gonna take Switzerland Avenue or Switzerland Boulevard whatever it is Switzerland Street Switzerland Drive. And this will take us basically right to Snow Summit Ski Resort. Right to the entrance.
switch and switch the brakes out to better brakes. So it's a whole braking system. But I don't know what it is. hotel to the left is where I used to stay when it would snow. I think maybe I'll stay here in the next week or so for a night so I can do a recording for you guys so you guys can see what it's like. A small little quaint place. I'll, I'll, I'll walk around the whole property. I'll show you Nottingham's Tavern and all that stuff. We're in the village now. They're so pretty now. all sleep right now you guys there's no snow it's just all sleep and it's coming down pretty good wow 
I need to stay there. That's 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 one of the nicer hotels in town, and one of the actually that's that's the biggest resort we have in this area to the right of us. I believe it's owned by the Holiday Inn. The name changes so frequently. Yeah, guys, it's coming down. being like pasted together right when I finished it this video I had to start it because it started really snowing or sleeting at least so hope you guys don't get mad that there's an extra video in there try not to be too annoying it's crazy years ago I wouldn't have cared because this was just all about me doing this and so I feel good about things when it snows I feel really good I feel happy and uh, years ago, I just, you know, if, if I made the video, I made the video. But now, I don't want to, you know, irritate you guys. It's so cool. As I said, in the last video, you guys changed my life. You guys saved me. Okay, so we're basically driving by the rail right now. We're on, left tires are on in the middle of the road. As I say, it'll typically be heavier over here. We're going to the snowiest part of town right now. When you guys drive into town at the Big Bear Dam, that area right there is the snowiest part of town. And then these homes over here on the lake and stuff, they get a bunch of snow the further you get towards the dam. And then the ski resorts, obviously, because they're right on the mountain, they get a good, good amount of snow too. Alright, 
since my iPhone uploads videos a lot faster than these GoPros, I think for the next video, like when you guys are like waking up and stuff like that, I'm gonna do it with the iPhone so it uploads faster. But we'll never forget Michelle Wallbacker. She hooked us up with the first GoPro that our channel had. I, she showed up to my work. I was working at Bear Mountain as a cook and she came to my work and gave me a brand new GoPro and gave me the receipt huh? saying if I don't like it, I can return it. She paid cash, so I'll, they'll, they'll just give me cash back for it. And it was like 300 bucks or something. It was like, holy moly, like, of course I kept it and used it and it helped so much. I love you, Melissa. I hope I didn't say Michelle Wallbacker, Melissa Wallbacker. And they have a really nice Airbnb up here too. It's really peaceful, it's just, feels like home. And it's uh, next to Snow Summit. Okay. I should contact her to see if she still has it available. This time of year it's probably sold out all the time. But anyway, we're coming into a bunch of fog over here at this part of the dam. We're at the dam now. So this is what we get because there are no mountains right here blocking this stuff. So we're getting, we're, we're just driving right into the clouds right now. Usually they get pushed up and over the mountain except for right here. Yeah, boy. So now we are turning around on the other side of the dam. We are heading into the Fonskin area. tell it's, it's really snowing well I can't see the lights on the other side of the lake at all and for me that's always a good sign because earlier on the previous video which as I said when we get home it'll just be finished like uploading to my phone from that GoPro because I have six GoPros I have five GoPro here no seven five GoPro Hero 8 one seven and one five can if you're, if you're up here at, at this time obviously when you're around these blind turns like this don't I mean it's, it's just it's just not worth it even though you can see if cars are, are coming because of their lights but you don't know if someone doesn't have their lights on even though if, in this weather like they would know if they didn't have their lights on I guarantee you you know check it out I'll turn off mine just for first for a second see you would know place for that person to park their truck, I'll tell you that. Because you're going to get some potential people losing their grip on the road. Or this guy, these guys on the left and right right there. On this side over here on North Shore, if you can park in the driveway, please park in the driveway. Just for your car's safety. 
mean, the benefit to that is if somebody hits it, it'll probably save them from going over the going over the edge. So that's good. But we don't want you to screw up the car. so we can try to listen to the storm. I'll, I'll roll down the window. I don't care if my phone gets soaked. It's an iPhone 12 Plus Pro Max. I think it's okay. Oh no, I didn't bring it with me. It's at home uploading the other videos. I uploaded the GoPro to the iPhone and now I'm saving those videos to the iPhone. It's taking twice as long. Yeah. fresh tracks on the snow now I really really understand why they have those poles in the on the side of the road sticking out because I've almost gone on the side of the road a few times gone off the road a few times and we're getting some heavy heavy sleet right now and some big snowflakes coming down too chimes from people's houses is just so awesome. Oops, that's blew right in my face. That's nice. Seriously, it's dumping in the car right now. Just dumping. I have to roll up that window. No, we're gonna go around this guy. Only because he's going like like 15 and and I just want to make sure he's he's gonna be okay. <laughs> it was uh, it was uh, San Bernardino County. Oh, it's so beautiful! My goodness gracious! Only time I ever crashed was on this turn right here. My first year doing these videos, I wasn't paying attention. I was in my Mercedes 500, my ML, and I hit the brakes right here because I was going too fast and I slid all the way across and 
kind of kind of took a little bit out of my bumper but it was all right it scared the crap out of me it felt a lot worse than it was i felt it felt like i just totally trashed my car but when i got out and looked it wasn't as bad as i anticipated thank goodness pizza hut people do you guys need help sleet, 10% snow, but either way it's good for the lake, so we'll take it. And at least the ski resorts are making snow right now while it's snowing or sleeting, and just even a little bit higher up in elevation it's going to be all snow, so I'll bet halfway up Snow Summit it's, it's all snow. Right here I've seen a lot of cars over that edge right there, because they don't slow down right here. And it's actually a decent fall right there. So just, I know you guys have no clue where the heck I'm at right now. And I understand. But we're on North Shore. Right across the lake here is Snow Summit. To the right, but you can't see it. You can see the bottom part of the mountain. So it must be letting up a little bit over there. <laughs> Man, these Domino's guys. Oh, this Domino's guy's going out to save his friend. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. His friend is stuck back there. Because they're not making deliveries at two. Or they're probably just finishing up the last of the deliveries. I used to work at the Domino's up here. It's the second or the first busiest domino. It's the busiest dominoes in the country in the wintertime. This and Mammoth are the two busiest dominoes pizzas in the whole country in wintertime. When it's wintertime. Okay, 
Okay, now we're on Stanfield Cutoff. We just did a drive around the town, around the lake. I'm interested to see how much more snow is at the house. From when we lit it. Wow, oh, he's, he's turning right. They turned off the uh, some of their Christmas lights, but they look really nice. It's really pretty. I love it. Yeah, and when, when we get out, I'll, sh I'll pick up a bunch of the sleet so you can see it. See what you're real nice, man. Okay, I need to turn this back on so when I start the car, it'll be on. Yep, my little pads are pretty much working the way they're supposed to. Okay, so, hold on a second. So I want you guys to see this in the light. And Look at that. Can you guys see? Like they're just balls of ice. Just little balls of snow. Little balls of ice. But yeah, and then here's these little pads. Told you guys, how cool is that? For all of you that live in snow, you should get these. No more shoveling. <laughs> no more shoveling. Woohoo! Except to get your car out. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you guys loads. Peace out. This is exciting. I'll be back out soon. Love you guys.